any minute things are going to happen, but things haven't happened yet. Carson Wentz got traded. Aaron Rodgers didn't. Russell Wilson didn't. Everyone feels like Jimmy's next. So my question to my co-host today is where do you think, where do you Mm -hmm. think Jimmy Garoppolo is headed next? Gosh, if I had to put money on it, I'm going to give you my favorite, but then I'm going to give you my second team because I'm hearing a lot about this third team that I don't think exists. What's up, Aponte? What it do? So the first team that I'm going to go with is the Colts because it makes way too much sense. Jim Irsay didn't like Carson Wentz mainly because of quote unquote leadership issues, which was the same problem, by the way, that he had when he was with the Eagles, supposedly, right? Like these are things that we've heard. Like he didn't talk to his coach after week 10 when he was with Philadelphia. There are just things that are out there. Carson Wentz is a better football player than Jimmy G. Like I don't, I want to no crystal clear about this. There's this no question not, about that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Like, People want to debate me on this one. But like Indy going from Carson Wentz to Jimmy Garoppolo because Jimmy's more popular than Carson is the dumbest thing I've ever I've ever fucking heard. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. Carson Wentz, he people may not like him, but he threw 27 touchdown passes and seven picks last year. Jimmy threw 20 and 12. You trying to compare a dude with a four to one INT ratio, TD INT ratio to Jimmy and his two to one? Come on. Come as Jimmy Valmer from from South Park would say, come on. Are you kidding? Come on. (laughs) Hey, I'm with you on this. I think Carson Wentz is a better football player, but they are looking for leadership there. Now, there have been rumors about Jordan Love possibly going to the Colts. I don't necessarily buy that because I feel like those guys, right, they need to win now. They do need to win now. I think Ursay, regardless of whether it's it's should be this case or not, I feel like by saying, hey, you brought in Wentz. This was your guy. I don't want him here. Get him out of here. You got a year to figure this out. Go get somebody else. And I, you can't do that with Jordan Love. So it has to be Jimmy G. So that would be my number one team, my number two team before you go. No, I think there's, (laughs) it seems real clear that Indy's the number one team. And all I, I like, I don't work for the Colts. I'm not quality control for them, but like, who are you bidding against right now? Tell me that. You're just, are you, you're just going to give the Niners a pick? Why? Charity? Tell me if you don't make this trade, who's swooping them? Pittsburgh? I don't think so. Washington? Apparently not. No, who is the Washington. team that's going to take Jimmy off your – who are you competing with right now, Indy? Why are you Why are you doing this? This is a big freaking mistake. It's a huge – and the other thing is like, what is Indy's plan? You got Chris Ballard and Frank Wright, two people that a, a lot of people believed in, and their first move was to bring in Phillip Rivers at the end of his career. That didn't work. Then they brought in Carson Wentz. That didn't work. And now they're going to bring in Jimmy. You're never going to draft a quarterback. Like, I don't get what their plan is in Indy at all. And I feel like maybe they just might be the dumbest team in the league. Like, what? I, they just might. Hey, I can make you an overlay that says quality control for the Indianapolis Colts if you I'm want it. I'm trying to help I can them do not make a huge freaking mistake, <laughs> but I feel like there's nothing I can say at this point. Well, you're right. It, it seems weird, right? You're going step down, step down, what? step down. Yeah. But here's, here's what I think. So... I think there is a reason that they had a pick swap. It, it was only like six picks. I think they moved up with that pick swap that involved this trade with that second round pick mm-hmm. this year. I think that is because they do want to get a quarterback, right? Mm-hmm. But they also need a bridge guy that can win now to save everybody's job. So they're trying to to do a little bit of both. That's where I think Jimmy G makes sense because I don't think it'll cost them near what they put out to be real. I, I just, I Jesse, personally can't see that happening. Jesse, you know yeah. what Jimmy is. I, I know what Jimmy is. You know it's a huge mistake. Like, Jimmy, even at his best, is 100% reliant on yards after the catch. Who's the yak guy in Indy? That's they a got a running game fit. and they got an offensive line. It's That's a it. freaking terrible fit. Their one wide receiver is Michael Pittman, who's not a yak guy. He's a guy who needs someone to give him 50-50 balls down the field. Oh, my God, that's not Jimmy. Michael, you're going to hate Jimmy Garoppolo. Let me tell you right now. You don't know Jimmy Garoppolo. You're going to hate Jimmy Garoppolo in about three or four months if he's your quarterback. going to hate him. It won't work. It's a terrible fit. Indy, you are really going to make the Niners' dreams come true. I don't think you need to do that. But that's on you. I do think it's going to be Indianapolis, and I don't know why they're bidding against themselves. So, Jesse, when, J-Rod, let's all smoke that porn star Jimmy pack. Um, <laughs> I'll pass. You can smoke it. <laughs> 
I'll pass. I'll pass. It doesn't sound that that's great. A hard, that's a hard it pass from Grant. Good at all, actually. It sounds like a lot of stems and seeds, in my opinion. Okay, let's talk well, about. I... <laughs> let's talk about. Hey, I'm from the town. <laughs> <laughs>